guys, honestly, to Petty here, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a age-specific trait. I noticed that in the last video, I didn't really explain it well, and I was getting questions about it. So for this video, I think I'm going to be sticking to toddler. So I'm just going to make, like what? I'll say active, an active trait for toddlers. We're going to go ahead and click create mod, create element, trait, and create element. I didn't name it, I just noticed, but whatever. Now this is basically all you guys need to really see. We'll name it, of course, active. Then you're going to go ahead and click on ages. One age, because this is going to be one age specific, right? You're going to put in your description, blah, blah, blah. And then you, your icon, change it to whatever you want. And then trait category, I think it should go on social. I think that's where all the toddler traits are, I believe. And then for the rest of this, you're pretty much going to do like what everything I showed you in the last video is pretty much the same thing. Except a few little different details like right here. Availability, you're going to click on availability and then it's going to show ages. You're going to change this to toddler. There. So that makes this trait available only to toddlers and only to human toddlers. We can't really change this right now. So it's going to be available to human toddlers and that is it. Or... If you want to change it, it's still one age. Maybe you can do two ages. Availability, toddlers, and babies. I don't really know what that means, so I probably shouldn't do that. You can choose basically whatever you want. I'm going to go back to one age, though. So I want this to be only for toddlers. But you can also do it for, like, just children or just teens. But let me show you, like, important things you need to, like, notice while doing this. You're going to go ahead and click build tree, you pretty much have that done, general, put in my description, my icon, I create, add one of these, I'm just going to be doing like whatever, just because I don't really want to make this trait. You're going to go on to continuous loot, add continuous loot, type of buff, whatever type of buff you want it to be, add some of these. I explained this way better in my um, last video, so if you want to know what all this means, you can go to the next, the last one, where I explain it. Okay, now we're going to click on running interactions, set presets. This is going to pop up. Now, for this part, this is the part I wanted to explain to you guys. This is a toddler specific trait, right? So a lot of these things like drink coffee, no, can't do. Kiss, no. Hug, toddler specific. For all the presets, you have to make sure it says toddler, otherwise it's not really a toddler interaction. So from since my toddler is active, I don't know. I don't really know what we can really do for this. Um, so you have to make sure the interactions have toddler in it, basically. So toddler should the love, set the preset. I don't know. It doesn't really go with what my trade is, but I'm just showing an example. So I'm not really gonna do I'm not really gonna do this. Blah 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 blah. This is basically all I have to show you. For this part, you need to click on trait. And then click on whims. Now this is another thing that's gonna be toddler specific. You can't just have any whim set here. So toddler trait has silly trait. These, in pretty much any of these will go fine with the toddler. It has toddler in it. It's made for toddlers. But something like whim set aspiration creativity painter, no. Toddlers can't paint. So this wouldn't really work for your toddler. These whims wouldn't come up. It wouldn't, no, it just wouldn't come up for your toddler. So you have to be considerate when thinking, oh, this is a toddler trait. They can only do toddler things. Let me just make some here. Uh, clingy, just sure. Now, for this video, there's going to be one last thing I need to show you guys. Let me just... I actually really don't want this mod. I'll just show you in-game. Now, one problem you do come across when making a toddler trait, custom trait, is when you click on your custom trait, this happens. It lasts for a few seconds. It's basically a one-time play. But I know that can be annoying to some people, but it's there's nothing to do to stop that. And it only happens once in the game. It doesn't cause any other problems. 
But besides that, that's really all the difference is between making regular like traits and toddler traits or children traits or whatever you want to make. Um, this is honestly too petty. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.